Welcome back to the Lion Experience. This is your boy, Lion of God. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, take the time to do so right now. So again, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Lion Experience, because all of my future videos, they're going to include some valuable information that's going to help you grow mentally, physically, and spiritually. All right, baby. All right, baby, this is your boy, Lion of God. And the question of the day is, why would we want to train in extreme elements? Now, first, I want to hit you with facts. Just like anything in life, right? Training in an extreme elements will suppress your immune system. So again, training in extreme elements will suppress your immune system. Now, pretty much anything that we do will actually suppress our immune system, which will actually limit the internal antibodies that we're naturally gifted with to actually fight off different viruses and everything. So when I say anything that we do right, I'm talking about lifting weights. I'm talking about running a long run. I'm talking about fasting. I'm talking about lack of sleep. I'm talking about placing yourself around negative people. I'm talking about not eating healthy. I'm talking about anything that really limits your ability to be at your best state of mind. It will weaken your immune system. So yes, initially we will get sick because again, initially the internal antibodies that we were naturally gifted with from God will be limited as well. So just like anything in life, right? When we lift weight, weights, you can't start out lifting 400 pounds. Theoretically, you couldn't. And the average person couldn't. The average person can't wake up today and say, I'm going to go run 26 miles. Or the average person can't wake up and say, I'm a fast for seven days. Each thing that we take part in in life, we have to progress gradually. So again, when I say why train in extreme elements, right? Training in extreme elements the proper way allows our immune system to become strengthened at the most optimal level, just like when we train officially but to run 30, 26 miles. So when I say gradually progressing, I don't I wouldn't say look, go jump in a 30 degree frozen lake today and you've never done it your whole life. I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is gradually spend time in the elements during the year, like for myself. And again, I'm not a doctor, but what I'm telling you right now, I never get sick, I don't take medicine, and everything that I'm telling you is factual. Now, what I do as a trained professional athlete, right, I train year-round in different elements from 160-degree weather to 30-degree weather, from running in the snow, from jumping in a frozen lake, from running in the rain in 30-degree weather. But again, if you start your training, say, in June, right, when it's, it's hottest, and you gradually train until December, January, and it's coldest, right? As time progresses throughout each moment of the year, right, your immune system will gradually become stronger because, again, it is slowly building up the tolerance needed to fight off the different viruses that the average person do not allow their immune system to build up the proper antibodies to fight against. Now, Again, the goal is to gradually build up as the years progress. That's how you truly allow your immune system to become its strongest. So again, my recommendation would be to start, say, in the spring, which would be around February, March, April, May. You know, so again, it's not as hot as and it's not its coldest. So again, as the hottest times of the year starts, you know, progressing, May, June, July, August, now 
your immune system again is readjusting, right? And then when the fall weather starts rolling around, August, September, October, November, so again, now, again, the, the, the immune system is uh, again readjusting again for the coldest part of the year, which is November, December, January, and February. So again, if indeed you stay outside and you actually put in quality work during this time frame, your immune system will gradually become its strongest. It will not take a hit. You won't get sick. You won't have to take medicine because again, you are allowing your immune system to progressively become stronger by building up the proper tolerance, right? By exposing itself to the different weather elements. So again, just as a person builds up to lift 300 or 400 pounds, or a person builds up to run 26 miles, or a person builds up to swim two to three, four miles, or a person builds up to fast like myself, seven days straight, no food, you must treat your immune system the exact same way. And like I tell my mentor reads all the time, our bodies don't control us. We control our bodies, right? Everything that we put into our bodies, you know, from the food, from the liquids, um, what we place our bodies around, like the people, the different environments, I mean, the, the, the sleep pattern that we give it, um, the positive mindset that we give it, when we speak life to other people, everything that we do on a daily basis dictates how we feel, right? And how we feel dictates how we perform. So again, if you're doing everything that is needed, right, to give your body, mind, and spirit its best ability to work at its most optimal, you know, level, you won't get sick, and your immune system and its internal antibodies will always perform at its peak level. So again, this is your boy, Lion of God, and look, why do we want to train at extreme elements, right? We give our bodies or an internal immune system its best opportunity, right, to grow and be its strongest. Naturally, this is your boy Lion of God. If you would like to continue watching this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Lion Experience. If indeed you would like to continue listening to this song on the moon, follow my son's YouTube channel, A V N J. Again, A V N J. Thank you and have a blessed day.